Hi guys, welcome to Full Time Devils. I'm Adam McCullough outside the Hawthorns where Manchester United have lost 1-0 against West Bromwich Albion. It was a 10-man Manchester United for most of the game. Juan Mata getting sent off early doors. To be fair, there were both yellow card decisions um, from what I could see. Um, but you're thinking after 25 minutes, the referee, Mike Dean, could use some common sense and say, look, next foul, you're off. Because it was his first foul of the game. Um, but he just didn't and he sent him off in the book. He has to go. But then it's game over, really, and we're fighting the uphill battle again. Um, from then on, though, we did actually play OK. And I thought if anyone was going to score, it was going to be Manchester United, especially after the half-time break where we created a few opportunities and the Herrera had a free kick, which was blocked. Um, we had a few crosses flash across the box. Nothing really clear cut. Um, Anthony Marshall trying to make things happen. Jesse Lingard doing the same. Um, Rashford was frustrated but worked hard. Um, we just never couldn't really get the breakthrough. And then West Brom get their one chance. Um, Rondon takes it, takes it well as well. And it's 1-0 to West Brom. And from then on, we never really looked like getting back into the game. We never had no plan B. We resorted to long balls up to Anthony Marshall and Memphis Depay, who were frustrated, who were beaten to the ball in the air, who couldn't really do anything with it. And overall, Manchester United then, you know, deserves to lose, um, which is very, very disappointing. Obviously, when you go down to 10 men early doors, you don't expect to really win the match. But I'm disappointed not to have won this match because I thought we had the chances to either create opportunities on goal or score goals, and we failed to do it. We had the chances and we didn't take them. Um, and ultimately, therefore, we deserve to lose. Um, few, few things with the substitutions. Maybe I would have took Carrick off instead of Herrera. Although Herrera didn't have the greatest of games, I thought he was one of our liveliest players. And once we took him off and we brought Schneidlin alongside Carrick, we had two midfielders that were sitting next to each other rather than one that was sitting and one that was pushing further a little bit up the field. Um, and because of that, there's a big hole in the middle whenever the ball was coming up. Marshall's sitting with the back four behind him. You got Memphis or Lingard and Rashford out wide. And then a big gap in the middle and it just wasn't good enough today. Didn't get the goals, didn't deserve to and we've lost. On a day where we could have went two points closer, um, le well, level, level on points with City and two points closer, two points away from Arsenal, we failed to do it and we failed to cover ground in the top four race again. Another disappointing day, no positives to take in my opinion. Um, my man of the match will probably be Chris Smalling. He showed fight throughout the game. He defended well on his own. I thought Daly Blind had a poor game and Chris Smalling had to dig him out a few times and he did that. Um, but yeah, disappointed. And we're back on that circle again. You know that one where we get a few victories and we feel happy and we feel things are turning the corner and then we get that defeat that we didn't see coming. <sighs> Anyway, guys, get your comments in below. Let us know what you think. Make sure you subscribe to Full Time Devils. Is the top four challenge over? Did United players today have one eye on that Liverpool game? Who is your man of the match? Get your comments in below. Make sure you subscribe. Check out the fan cams as well. I'll see you later.